Okay, so this is how we set up our belt squat. If you have a garage gym, it's a pretty simple but very effective way of doing it. We have a lot of comments on our YouTube page on how we make it, so this is how we do it. This is actually just an extra base, so a squat stand base from a second squat stand I have. But you can actually just buy the two by three row strip, which is pretty similar. Then you just buy plate holders and an attachment for the hook here that you'll place at the top. And then for extra plate storage, I actually just have a very long screw from Home Depot. And then you can just buy band pegs. This is from Titan. You come and you can buy these washers that will screw at the very end. So all you have to do is your spot rack. And there you go. You can start from the bottom if you want to, or you can use these long screws here. Buy a second band peg, and then some chains from any, any hardware store. And attach it here and here. And you have a makeshift holder um, that you can use as well. So this is a pretty simple and effective way to do a belt squat. And of course you're gonna need a belt. So we use the Spud Ink belt squat belt, but you can use any belt that would attach there. Um, and then of course you would attach the washer right here. And there you go. So that's a simple, uh, very effective way to do belt squats. Uh, we do over 550 pounds on here uh, with no problem at all. So try it out. Um, tag us if you try it out or have a different way of doing it so we can try it. And so why? Would someone even want to do a belt squat? Well, for one thing, it changes up your workout routine so you don't get bored, so the muscles don't get accommodated to the same training program. But also, it's a very good rehab or injury prevention exercise. So before I became a physician and went to medical school, I was a physical therapist, and we actually use belt squats for rehab. The reason why is the belt is around your waist. Typically, the weight's directly underneath you or slightly in front, and so it's distracting your spine or it's pulling from here, and then that way it's helping gap your lumbar spine, maybe a little bit, probably not too much, but the most benefit is that you can exercise without having a lot of spinal compression because the weight's not on your back like a typical barbell squat. So if you have trouble with back injuries or you chronic back pain or you had an acute back injury where you can't squat temporarily, this is a really good way of training and then another benefit of actually having the DIY home squat, our uh, makeshift belt squat, um, it's really great for the legs. It works just as well, or I think better than a commercial gym one. But also you can actually do other things with it. So you can use your chains, or by handle. You can do rows, uh, you can do an upright row. You can do triceps. So it's actually pretty, pretty versatile. And I do have a cable pulley system, so I don't use this anymore. But before I had the cable pulley system, I would actually use this as a makeshift cable system. So uh, many benefits from this uh, do-it-yourself belt squat.